The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing 180 pounds, Serpentico. Well, Serpentico made his AEW debut last week on Dark Taz. Unfortunately, he was unable to notch a victory, but he still looked impressive in his first outing. No, he did. He definitely did. I mean, he's going to have a, he's going to have a tough outing in this outing, if I could say outing one more time. <laughs> he's got his own gimmick spray, but uh, anyway, uh, he's, he's going to deal with a, a, a seasoned pro, uh, who's world world renowned. So, uh, good luck, uh, to Serpentico. <laughs> Serpentico. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly what I was saying. And his opponent, representing SCU from Southern California, weighing 240 pounds, the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. Well, you're exactly right, Taz. Serpentico is going to have a tough one against the ring general himself, Christopher Ant Daniels, the fallen angel part of SCU and one of the most respected members of the locker room here at AEW. Yeah, no, listen, he sure is, Daniels is. Yeah, I know Daniels a long time, you know what I mean? And, and he doesn't know this, but I never really liked him personally. Who do you like? Not many, <laughs> but but he's definitely a tremendous, tremendous, you know, star for a lot of years in the business. And, and he's paid dues and he's worked real hard. I respect that. I just don't really like him personally. That's just, I'm just being honest. Sure, okay. When are you, when are you ever not honest? Well, I just wear my emotions on my sleeve. So, you know, that's the thing. See if, if Daniel's got this predicament here where he's caught in a two on one situation. Two hands on one wrist for those people that don't know what that means. I thought you were going to say that Christopher Daniel's wearing his emotions on his sleeve because he's not. He has no sleeves. No, I, that's yeah. a good, good observation. That's why appreciate, I like you. Appreciate it, man. You're one of the only guys I do like, to be honest with you. <laughs> And Serpentico in a two-on-one situation of his own, but you can see he's hand fighting with Daniels, trying to uh, tr yeah. trying to loosen that grip on his wrist. Rolls through, rolls back, kips up, and nice. now takes the wrist of Christopher Daniels. Yeah, it's, this is where Daniels, you know, being a veteran, he doesn't rush into nothing. Now he's caught in a hammerlock. He reaches over to get head control, and he's out into a side headlock takedown. So. You know, I mean, good job right there. Daniel, so so fluid. Sure. Just a beautiful transition there. And Serpentico, he's, he had a little high grip on that headlock, almost like he was trying to damage the ear of Daniels. Yeah, you, get, you could lose a guy's head. You could slip off the headlock. If you're, Especially a bald head. Yeah, a bald head yeah. guy, right. And Daniels, though, deep oh, arm wow. drag. And now has the the left arm of Serpentico isolated. That was like uh, shades of Rick and the Dragon Steamboat, Dad. That was a pretty deep arm drag. That was well done. Yeah, from way downtown. Yeah, nice arm bar. And Serpentico, though, feeling like he's in a disadvantageous position. Backs Daniels into the corner. Daniels, though, goes under the legs of Serpentico. And oh, another arm drag. Go. This is just perfect physical storytelling and physicality by a veteran in Daniels. Uh, he's just working that arm and just goes back to that arm bar, out of the arm drag. It's perfect, and, and it's just well, well done. Anytime you watch a seasoned pro wrestler, Serpentico jumping knee strike has Daniels reeling. He's against the ropes in the corner. Digging right hand to the midsection by Serpentico. Serpentico goes up and over the top of the fallen angel. It's the rope for Daniels there. Beautiful leg lariat, Taz. Yeah, no doubt. Great height right there for a, for a guy who's been wrestling as long as Daniels' body. He's always in great shape, keeps himself in great condition. Got great vertical leaping ability right there, as we saw. Look at that backdrop. Great job. Hoist Serpentico high and brings him down hard with that back body drop. And now ah, Daniels. Hey, hey, hey. Well, now a uh, little bit of an exploder style suplex. Yeah. Well, to me, that's really called a high collar, you know, Tazplex. But <laughs> I'm just speaking on behalf of how I did it. But somehow the name Exploder came into play years after. I don't know how, but everybody. Well, it was Ju oh, Junakiyama. Oh, was right. Yeah. Well, thanks to him for stealing my gimmick. <laughs> Actually, I Pre stole. He predates you. He did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. That's a good I'm point. sorry. I'm sorry. I, mean, I was going to say I was going to give credit where I stole. I stole it from Hase. Hero Hase. That's where I got yeah. it from. To be honest with you. And I, and Though Serpentico turning the tables on Christopher Daniels here. He's got Daniels reeling a little bit. Going over the top rope into a foot stomp. 
The pullover stomp covers one, two. Didn't hook the leg, Taz. No, no, yeah, you got to try to hook the leg, especially with someone like Chris Daniels. Just a jack. I mean, you hear it all the time. You got to hook the leg, hook the leg. The reason why you want to hook the leg is that helps pull the, your opponent's body weight towards his shoulders, lower body weight towards his head and shoulder, which stacks him on the back of his head and shoulder to pin him. That's why you always hear announcers say, you got to hook the leg. That's the reason. It's a, a fundamental mistake by Sir Patrick, oh, wow. though. And Daniels with that STO takes him yeah. down. And now just laying in some right-handed jabs to the jaw of Serpentico. Yeah, I would call that an Osoto Gallery. That's what it is, you know, but uh, in, in the sport of judo, it was well done. I mean, just really in that, just tilt the word backbreaker. He's saying time's up. Dunsky here. We're done. A backbreaker now. Daniels plants Serpentico down. He's looking at the corner. This uh -oh. could be the best uh, moonsault yeah, buddy. ever Here from Christopher Daniels. Cover one, two, three. That is it. Here's your winner, Christopher Daniels. I'll tell you, this, this SOB don't age, man. He just <laughs> he, he does that, that best moonsault ever. I've seen him do that for years. I've called it for years, and it just doesn't change. Look at it, it is picture perfect. And Taz, I think the real story might be did you see that, that look of intensity in the eyes of Christopher Daniels? It seems like he's uh, he's, he's found some, some extra fire. Yeah, he's definitely locked and loaded. He's motivated. I agree with you. You can see the eyes. You're right. There's definitely a special type of intensity right there in Daniels' eyes. Christopher Daniels victorious here tonight on AEW Dark.